Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Me and my opponent pick a Smogon tier to create our teams, and then we battle. Let's get right into it. And here we are with the battle. We're going against my homie, my good homie, Q the Costa Rican, aka Q, aka Coach of the Chicago Dragapults, aka another good homie of mine, as I said it twice. So that way you know. Um, but we're going against him and his Typhlosion team. We see Typhlosion, Torkoal, Sandy Shocks, um, Roaring Moon, Rotom Wash, and Dragonite. So very scary Protosynthesis team for sure. Um, there's a lot of fire, and I only have Glamora and ooh, I mean Tinglu is, is there. Um, we have Rotom as well. So it's gonna be a very problematic looking team. I think we're just better off leading with Rotom. Um, honestly, actually might be better off leading with uh Tinglu isn't bad aside from their Rotom, but I'm just gonna lead with Rotom. I think Rotom is pretty cool. So we're gonna lead off with Rotom 100%, as I've said it like three times now. <laughs> so we are also doing an OU um, tier battle here. As you can see, most of their team is OU for the most part, aside from, I mean, half of their team is actually OU because there's Typhlosion, which offer, because it's an, a new release mod, it does fall in the OU tier. If you do follow Smogon tier, Smogon tiers um, are essentially um, breaking all the Pokemon down into their, um, uh, of whatchamacallit, their versatility and their, like, um, um, usage <laughs> basically their usage if i can find the words um and their usage and how they're used by you know if you play pokemon showdown online uh how they're used and all that stuff so they're broken down into uh, um tiers like ou uu are you which is overused underused rarely used par partially used and all this other stuff a bunch of used but they lead their rotom as we also lead our rotom which i kind of expected i kind of respected that calculated it's calculated so um we're gonna protect here to see what they want to do i assume they volt switch here um, and if they do Volt Switch, what do I, they can't safely go out into anything aside from their own Rotomyth. I mean, so I'm just going to fire off a will o -Wisp here. So we are faster or we just win the speed tie. One of the two, but we get chip on this thing. So what, that's pretty cool, but they are going to get momentum. If they do opt to go for Volt Switch, they are going to opt to go for Volt Switch, of course. So does do a decent amount. Um, I assume we see something like Sandy Shocks. Uh, and if Sandy Shocks does come out, we can easily go into Tinglu for sure. And if they double out, then they, I, it's a good play. But I'm not really going to worry about that until we cross that bridge, you know? So um, we'll see what they want to go into here. I'm very interested in what they would because they, their team doesn't really respond to Rotom that well. And granted, I could have Volt Switched as well. And they do go into Torkoal. So this time we're just going to be able to fire off a little Volt Switch. Um, they could be Jack Pack um, for sure. Or they could be... Um, uh, I, for some reason, I thought Rotom was about to pop some Protosynthesis, and I was like, oh, baby, I've broken the game. Um, we're going to go ahead and Bolt Switch out of here, though. Um, so, nice. We are able to get some momentum here. They are going to opt to stay in. Otherwise, they would have switched out. They could have went Sandy Shocks, but it was is a risky play considering um, Hydro Pump does hit both of these mods super effectively. But um, the sun is up. So, we'll see what they want to do here i honestly don't have the best of switches to this thing either they could have eq or earth power so i don't feel comfortable going into glamora just yet um we could put on uh, solar beam um huh maybe I, I will just go tinglu here i will opt to go tinglu here it's not the worst play in the world to make um if they do lava plume that will be very unfortunate they opt to stealth rock which is fair it's fair. Thankfully, we do have Mortal Spin, though. It is going to break our Glamora Sash. So that is a little bit unfortunate. Um, what do they want to go into here? It would maybe be the Rotom, if I had to guess. Um, but I'm just going to opt to... Their whole team doesn't like taking a spike. So I'm going to spike. They're going to opt to withdraw. They don't have Magic Bounce or anything, so that's fine. They don't have any removal either. So we're just going to be able to get up a nice little spike. They do go into the Roaring Moon, which is a threat and a half. The Protosynthesis is gonna proc, probably going to be their attack stat as well. They could also be Choice Band. Um, they could also be Choice Scarfed. Or they might just be DD, which is uh, basically all three are terrible. <laughs> I mean, Scarf is probably the preferred one, so they don't have like all that damage output. But um, very, very scary here. Do we have anything that would want to take said attack? Not really. We could try to go into Iron Valiant. Um, what would they go for here? A Dragon move? Maybe. Um, we wouldn't go for a Dark move against a Tinglu. They could U-turn. If they DD, that's basically, I want to say GG. <laughs> so, um, maybe we're going to make the play and go Goldango here, um, which might not be a bad play because we can Focus Blast. We can Focus Blast, but yeah, he brought some power. He brought some power. These mons are scary, man. So, um, we're going to try to make a mid-ground play here. 
I assume they don't go for a dark type move. They're going to have to U-turn, which is fine. So we should be able to eat this perfectly fine. Great. So they're definitely either choice banded or choice scarfed because DD sets typically don't run U-turn because if you run DD, you typically want to stay in and set up on your opponent. But we're going to see what Mr. Q wants to do. Hashtag bars. Um, so this thing comes out here. Uh, very scary. I love the nickname Bakugo because it kind of does look like Bakugo with the fire on the back, even though the fire does look a little bit wonky if I do say so myself. Um, we're going to go into Tinglu here. I could stay in and try to get damage off, but we probably will see a, an eruption. Um, so we want to lower the attack. And if we do see an eruption, at least we got some chip on this thing. So because if you don't know, eruption is base 150 attack i mean special attack but um it's based off the um user's health so we'll see what they want to go for here do we see an eruption we probably will we lower the special attack but it is in the sun and it could be choice specs boosted so we'll see how much this done eruption looks crazy in this game we are going to be able to eat that very comfortably so that thankfully um tinglu is very thick but even being as thick as tinglu is that still did a whopping amount of damage um, now what I want to do here is I kind of want to be able to whirlwind or I want to maybe be able to get another spike up because I assume they go into Rotom. Um, if they opt to stay in, that would be a little bit unfortunate. Um, but I really don't think they would want to risk their Typhlosion here. So they do swap out accordingly, which makes sense, but we are going to be able to get up another spike because it's going to whittle down that Typhlosion and it's going to be able to whittle down, um, uh, that, um, Typhlosion's, uh, eruption base power as well. So two birds with one stone or i guess two spikes i should say oh ho, ho, pokey puns you'll love to see it but um tinglu is going to get a little bit of hp back up here we probably see a volt switch um they could hydro pump but honestly i'm not too worried about it i am worried about a will-o-wisp for sure but sun is up and we are lowering their special attack so i'll ruin nation here i think that's a pretty good play we do see the will-o-wisp which is a little bit unfortunate because our attacks that will drop but we are able to drop this rotom down to 50 percent as well so i mean it's okay. It's also going to negate our leftovers recovery. So not the best thing in the world, but at least we get chip on this Rotom. So I'm very, very okay with that. And their um, leftovers is going to be negated by the sun as well. So that's okay. Does sun die this turn? Um, we will find out. I don't know if it's been eight turns. It feel like it's been a million turns, but we'll see how many turns it's been. Um, yeah. I don't think sun's going away this turn. Is it, is it question mark? With all the burns and all the animations going on right now, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, the sun does stay up. We're going to go ahead and whirlwind here. They're going to have to hydro pump. This literally should do, it should bounce right off. Yeah, that does very, very little damage thanks to the sun and Ting Lu's ability. So that's awesome. We're able to whirlwind this thing up out. So that's cool. Um, Ting Lu's getting very little down though, which is very unfortunate. But if Typhlosion comes out here, that'd be very, very good. Um, Dragonite comes out here, which is not very good. Um, honestly, <laughs> so harsh sunlight is going to fade here. Um, what do I want to do? Because if this thing DDs, it very well could be game. Um, or should I try to ruination and get chip on this? I kind of just want to um, kind of just want to whirlwind this thing out because I really don't want to mess with. Yeah, that's why we don't want to. That's why we don't want to deal with that. Yeah, we're going to whirlwind this thing out. We're going to whirlwind it out because we don't want to deal with the DD Dragonite. Granted, I would have loved to get chip on this, but nah, nah, I don't want to get swept. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want the chip that bad. We're going to get this thing up out. So hopefully Typhlosion can come in here. If Torkoal comes in, that's not bad either, but they could rapid spin. I said they had no removal, but I totally blanked that Torkoal is there. Um, Typhlosion does come out, so this is good. This is good. The sun's not up either. They're going to take more health on their Typhlosion. So we're going to be able to fire off another Ruination here, which I feel comfortable doing. They could Focus Blast if they wanted to, um, but they probably want Eruption. If anything, they might Flamethrower or Fire Blast, or they probably will switch out as they should. I'm going to go ahead and Ruination again. We're not going to Whirlwind anything. We're just going to 100% go for a ruination and get 50% on something because either way 50% on something is very good focus blast does come off makes sense um shouldn't be able to ko doesn't ko tingle just too thick we are going to be able to get 50% on this thing um and what we can do because i feel i feel i have a sneaking suspicion that this is like choice specs or choice scarfed um typhlosion because that's what it would run typically and it, as we see it's not heavy duty boots so we can save tinglu even though it probably won't be able to survive a hit but we can save it as a sack so i'm gonna go into goldango here and predict them to be scarfed they are gonna withdraw here making an a read themselves what do they go out into rotom very good play on my opponent's fart part fart <laughs> fart very good play on my opponent's part 100 percent i could go for shadow ball here um honestly um, but we will take a hydro pump to the dome, which is the only problem. But honestly, that's not the worst thing in the world. 
Um, we do see the leftovers, but it's going to be negated by the burn, as I've said before. As we've honestly seen the whole battle, because all we've seen is burns and leftovers recovery that just keep getting negated by one another. And we're going to be able to, I think we just can fire off a Shadow Ball here. I honestly don't mind it. Um, I don't think we get the KO, um, but we will be able to get this Rotom close to dead. If not, no, not dead. Very close, very close. They aren't going to um, opt to Volt Switch here. It's going to tickle quite a bit, bring us down to our yellow health. Um, which now they can freely go into Roaring Moon if they do so choose to do. I was about to say do so chose, but do so choose to do here, which honestly I wouldn't be able to fault them. I think, uh, not Goldengo, I think Roaring Moon is their best play because um, typically in OU tiers, Goldengo tends to be scarfed. And even if I'm not scarfed, um, uh, Roaring Moon not speeds. And even if I am scarfed, they know I'm locked in the Shadow Ball. So there's not really much I can do in this position aside from trying to probably sack Ting Lu if Roaring Moon does come in. So that way we get momentum and negate their momentum because they'll U-turn probably King the Ting Lu. They go into Bakugo, the Unrivaled again. Um, not really, I have to switch out because if this thing is Scarfed, um, not a good time, not a good time. So we'll go on to Ting Lu here. Um, yeah, we'll go on to Ting Lu, sack it off. Ting Lu's done what it's needed to do. It's been a very, very, very loyal Mon. Love to see it. So uh, yeah, Ting Lu's done enough. Tinglu is enough. We can let Homeboy rest now. He's done quite a bit, taking all the hits, setting up the spikes, um, removing Mons off the field. It's been get a get a nice rest, buddy boy. Get a nice rest, buddy boy. What do we see? We see a Shadow Ball. Actually, we might not die here. Actually, we might not die. We do die. Okay. I mean, granted, um, it's you know we are at 27 HP, but we are Tinglu. It's a Tinglu. So um, they have they are probably locked into Shadow Ball. If I had to bet. Um, I'm gonna go into back Scalibur here, and I feel like DD is pretty free here. I feel like it's pretty free here. Um, see no problem with it. We're gonna opt to Dragon Dance here and try to get back Scalibur in prime position to kind of go and run away with it because we have a lot of chip on their mons. We cannot get burned. They're probably locked into Shadow Ball. Um, it sucks because, uh, you know, back Scalibur's ability allows it to not get burnt and it gets boosted from fire attacks, but it's neutral. And so, like, if it was an immunity and it got, the, you know, the attack boost, that'd be crazy. Um, that'd be honestly fire, but I'm pretty sure um, it doesn't work that way. I'm pretty sure. I'm 99.9% .9 sure now that I think about it, but I'm pretty sure it just we just can't get burnt. Um, so Rotom comes out here. I'm not going to take any hazard chip, um, unfortunately, because it is floating. Levitate mods don't take... Uh, chip from spikes only rocks and we don't have rocks. We have two layers of spikes up, which is pretty good um, So I think Typhlosion will die upon um, uh, uh, When it comes back in if it does come back in um, But it should die upon re-entry for sure and now we're gonna be able to fire off a nice little um could fire off an icicle crash um, Which I will I'll do I'll fire off an icicle crash because we should connect um, unless we don't connect so that's cool we can't get burned though so i'm not too worried about it they're gonna opt to volt switch here that's very unfortunate we could have just um also dd'd again because we're like rotom is no threat but that really does suck <laughs> that we couldn't get the ko there um because we just opted to miss our one and only icicle crash um so torkoal's gonna come out here i'm gonna take rock ship question mark yes so um i'm pretty sure i mean i wasn't counting the turns but i'm pretty sure this torkoal is indeed um a uh whatchamacallit a uh whatchamacallit what am i saying uh heat rock because it's not heavy it's not heavy duty boots so it probably is heat rock i don't think they're gonna terra their torkoal here they could go into rotom if they wanted to and if they do go rotom i will dd this time again because like i said i should i mean they are gonna have to terra their torkoal okay okay so what terror typing is this is it gonna be like grass or something or is that like fairy which would be crazy it is grass okay makes sense Makes sense, makes sense. So we're gonna take a hit here, unfortunately. Um, th this Torkoal is gonna eat this Iso Crash for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm gonna Earthquake here. It's gonna do virtually nothing, literally nothing. And we're gonna take a Rapid Spin, unfortunately. Okay, so the hazards are gone. Hazards are gone. Um, so uh, Typhlosion can safely come back in. Nothing else will take chip. Um, I will Iso Crash this time and hopefully we can land. They're gonna withdraw here. Um, probably sack off the Rotom if I had to guess. Now would be the time to miss back Scalibur. Can you miss this time? So that way we can dance. Can you miss this time? No, we connect it this time. Um, we're going to be able to KO the Rotom finally, but <laughs> um, unfortunately we weren't able to miss when we wanted to. Of course, that's always how it works. That's how Pokemon RNG rolls, um, but it just, 
What can you do, man? What can you do? What can you do? What's funny is I've been missing it in this bulky recording session I've done. I missed two fire blasts and I've missed an icicle crash. So just not the day to click inaccurate moves. So I guess I just should have been loaded dice icicle uh, spear, but we'd be taking rock ship, unfortunately. So we'll see what they want to go out into here. We should outspeed everything. Um, this thing comes out here. Um, it could go for a focus blast and if it does go for a focus blast i'm gonna opt to terra here and i will dd because that might be scarfed um it might be scarf instead of specs so i will just opt to dragon dance here um just to scout because if they go they, i assume they probably go lock themselves into focus blast i don't see them hitting a fire type attack right now i mean they could if they wanted to but then they'd be giving me a boost um but backscalibur should be able to put in some work right now because we'll be able to get a second dd up we should be able to eat the focus blast no problem um they're not scarf they are specs okay so good to know we're gonna dd in front of their face i wanted to make sure because uh they do outspeed if they are scarf because typhlosion is base 100 so they're gonna opt to flamethrower here we are gonna be able to eat that up still that does a huge amount of damage for a resisted hit um because of the sun and the choice specs that is crazy it does a, a, a wonky amount of damage that's just too much it's way too much too much power um but their only um, earthquake resist is, I mean, immunity is gone in Rotom. Granted, they do still have a resist in, um, what should I call it? They still have a resist in the Torkoal, but we do have Icicle Crash now, so that hits it super effectively. So, Baxcalibur should be able to kind of just run away with it right here, I feel like. Um, and the Sun Shenanigans should die down. Dragonite does come out here. We might have to get a flinch. Um, we'll probably have to get a flinch because they can't terror this thing. They could um, opt to um which i'm gonna call it e-speed but i don't think it'll ko unless maybe they're banded um but we'll see we'll find out hopefully we can land this iso crash when we want to i'm not gonna go for glaive rush because iso crash is stab and it's quad effective instead of glaive rush being super effective so iso crash should do more and it has the potential to flinch so we're gonna iso crash we're gonna connect are we gonna break through this thing's multi-scale we are gonna baby eat <laughs> we are gonna be able to break through this thing's multi-scale thankfully so backscalibur putting in the finest of work right now look at him flex his muscles and Sandy Shocks comes out, and I think we should be able to perfectly um, just be able to fire off a nice little ISO crash here. No problemo. Protosynthesis is going to proc, but it's not going to matter because we are plus two speed. Um, I'm pretty sure they um, are special. I mean, maybe I should have went for Earthquake right there just so we don't have to worry about the misses. But hey, we're landing. We're landing. We are landing. So now what we can do is we just fire off Glaive Rushes because um, it's super effective on Roaring Moon. We don't have to risk the miss. Um, Torkoal is way, way low. It's very much in the yellow, almost dead. They're going to proc their attack. Um, even if they are Scarf, we should outspeed because we are plus two speed right now. We're going to fire off a nice little Glaive Rush and be able to finish off this game right now. Um, very, very fun match. Um, it was just trying to get um, Baxcalibur in. Because uh, early game, they, I feel like Q had all the momentum in the world because his pivots were just being able to punish my mons because Ting Lu was being, uh, being brought in because I had to bring it in on certain mons and it was allowing him to bring in stuff like Roaring Moon and Rotom. Uh, granted, we were able to eat the Rotom hits, but still it was a pain to get Baxcalibur in position. But when you do, it works out. It works out very much so. It works out very, very much so. So that's going to be the game. You got to see the power of Choice Specs Typhlosion and the power of Dragon Dance Backscalibur as well. Um, GG's to my opponent Q, my good homie Q. Um, make sure to go show him love down below. He's almost on his uh, way to 2K. So make sure to go show him some love. Check him out. Tell him that I sent you there. Um, but if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you are new, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell down below so you know when I post. And also make sure to comment anything you liked about the battle. Um, I'm hopefully we'll be able to do some viewer battles as well because I love, love interacting with you guys. But without further ado, I am Boy J. I'm going to get about your hair and I'll catch you all next time. Bye.